More than 23,000 cancer patients will soon have access to the world's largest genomics initiative in Australia. The $185 million program will see experts create personalised treatment for each person's DNA over the next two years, including early stage clinical trials. For more on this, joining us live is Christine Cockburn, the General Manager of Rare Cancers Australia. Thanks for your time, Christine. Really appreciate it. I'd like you to start at the beginning, if you're happy to do this, and explain for us what is the study of genomics? How does it differ to genetics? And, and why is it so exciting in terms of how we can use genomics in treating cancer? Sure, thanks, Ashley. Well, not being a scientist, I'll try to explain it in a way that we can all understand. And that is that essentially when we're looking at a cancer's genomics, we're looking at what, what's inside it and what makes it tick. The way we describe it to people is it's we're looking, we're really honing in on the detail and looking at the fingerprint of the cancer. So the very fine details, if you think of bringing a photograph or a picture into very fine pixelated detail, then what we can see there is what's really making it tick, what's inside that cancer that's making it grow, that's making it outsmart treatment. And we can target those signals or those biomarkers and we can really treat the cancer, possibly even cure it. And so why is this so important for people who are suffering from those rarer forms of cancer? It is really important for people that have got rare or advanced or incurable cancer because until now we just didn't have that information. We have um, the ability to really drill down and see what's making the cancer tick quickly. That is when they're first diagnosed or a little earlier than we used to, to get people expediated onto treatment quickly and targeted therapies. We know people are living longer and they're living better. So if we can shorten that timeline between understanding what's making the cancer tick, understanding what the best therapy is for, is for their cancer and linking them to the clinical trial or the treatment, we're saving a lot of really important time and people can go on and have better outcomes. How challenging are rare cancers in Australia? What sort of cancers are we talking about here? Yeah, great question, Ashley. Look, rare cancers constitute Actually, it's a, it's a big number in Australia. It's about a third of all cancer diagnoses. So it's not a small number at all. Um, and unfortunately, about half of those won't survive till the five year mark. So what we know about that, the reason that is for rare cancers is because they're diagnosed late and we don't have the data and the genomic information we need to get to them early. So what's happening with Prospect, which is really exciting, is they're gathering an enormous number of profiles to be able to understand what works for whom and when. So when we've got a bit more information about those rare cancers, which till now have really remained a bit of a mystery, we can understand what's going on at the genomic level and how to best treat them as quickly as possible. Okay, so for anyone watching this and thinking, oh, I have a loved one who is, is going through some form of cancer treatment, maybe this is for them. What's mm -hmm. the best way to access this, this sort of uh, initiative? Sure. So anybody that does have an advanced uh, cancer or a rare cancer or a difficult to treat or incurable cancer, they should talk to their healthcare professional, particularly an oncologist, but a GP will be able to help as well and refer you into the Prospect program where you have a chance at having a genomic uh, screening of your cancer, of your tumour, um, expert analysis, and then uh, referral off to a clinical trial or treatment all under the one project. So speak with your healthcare professional, see if you're eligible for the program and uh, be referred into, into that program, into Prospect, as quickly as possible. Christine, I assume that this sort of initiative just really gives so much hope, especially for people who have been going through long battles and come up against wall after wall through that treatment process. Just how important is that in terms of having other options on the horizon for people who really have just struggled and, and not got anywhere so far? Yeah, Ashley, you've really hit on what the main unmet need in the rare um, and advanced cancer populations are, and that is the lack of hope. So there's a lack of clarity with treatment pathways and there's a lack of clarity with how to navigate the healthcare system, where do I belong, what's next, what's coming next. And what our prospect does is provide that solution for hope. There's a clear pathway that people are being well organised. There's a uh, world's best practice here in Australia, and it does give people hope that the outcomes can be a little bit more equitable between the rare and advanced cancers and the outcomes in Australia that we know are excellent with more common cancers or those that are diagnosed earlier. So you're absolutely right that hope is key and there's a real reason to be hopeful with Prospect. Oh, Christine, really appreciate you taking the time to talk us through that. Thank you. We all need a little bit of hope sometimes. So um, good to have a good news story. Thank you so much.
Thanks, Ashley.